So pension rules have changed and they've virtually gone unnoticed. For the last three years, the maximum amount that you could invest into a pension each year has been set at £40,000. This is called the annual allowance. However, if you are a higher earner, the amount that you can invest in this tax year that will benefit from tax relief has changed. Furthermore, many people and many financial advisors have not picked up on this yet. They may be in for a nasty shock and find they have a tax liability that needs to be settled. So, from the 6th of April 2016, the annual allowance of £40,000 for pension contributions, and that's the total personal and employer contributions, has reduced by £1 for every £2 of an individual's adjusted income over £150,000 if the individual's threshold income exceeds £110,000. Sounds complicated. Well, it is. Well, I can tell you that it is really complicated, which is probably why most people are not picking this up. For higher earners, calculating income can be complex, as income often comes from various sources, and many business owners do not know what their income is until after the end of the tax year. So what does this mean? This means that the maximum annual allowance will be £10,000 for individuals with income of over £210,000. So in effect, it's on a sliding scale. The complexity of the two calculations is likely to catch many people out, and here's why. Most people who have heard about it have thought that it only affects them if they earn over £150,000, which, let's face it, is probably not a great deal of people. However, there is a sting in the tail. The first calculation is relevant if your total income is over £110,000 a year, which may bring a lot more people into the equation. If your income is in excess of £110,000 a year, the adjusted income calculation needs to be carried out. So what is the adjusted income calculation and what is the threshold income? Adjusted income is total gross taxable income from all sources, plus employer pension contributions and personal contributions before any deductions. Threshold income is the total gross taxable income from all sources, less any pension contributions made. If you think you're affected, what can you do about it? Fortunately, if you've got unused annual allowance from tax years 2013-14, 2014-15 and 2015-16, this can be brought forward and used in 2016-17. So only the 2016-17 annual allowance is reduced so you can make use of previously unused relief and make contributions to your pensions for the three previous tax years. However, you must have been a member of a registered pension scheme in the tax year giving rise to that unused relief before it is brought forward. So what if you have no unused relief or still have a problem? The simple answer is there is tax due, but you may not need to pay it personally. Some schemes can pay the tax charge from the fund and this is called scheme pays facility. So you must ask your scheme if this option is available as not all schemes will permit it. So if you need to use the scheme pay facility, are there any rules that apply? Yes, there's some simple rules. Your excess annual charge must be over £2,000 and you have inputs in excess of the £40,000 annual allowance and it must be for tax year 2016 and the election must be made before the 31st of July 2018. Complicated, sure is. It certainly is, and many people are going to get caught out by this change. In this instance, the help of a good financial advisor would be really important. My name's Martin Dodd, and I look forward to talking to you again on some more tax and financial planning topics.